Time now for a Kansas City segment where we run through several concerns for the defending Super Bowl champions. My pitch for this was Kansas City problem a cue. Didn't like, hit. Like barbecue? Yeah, but problems. Okay. <laughs> I was outvoted. So we went with chief concern. First up, Christian McCaffrey. Won Offensive Player of the Year. And has he slowed down in the playoffs? Averaging around 125 total yards, give or take. Two touchdowns per game. Nick, we'll start with you. Is CMC a chief concern? No, he's actually the only concern. That's it's not. He's not a chief concern. He is the chief concern, the only concern. Chief concern would imply that you have a long list, and he's chief. He is the only. Uh, listen, their path is, as I mentioned earlier, Terrell Davis in the 97 Super Bowl, 150 some yards, 30 carries, three touchdowns. Uh, the Chiefs have, listen, unlike, you know, in the lead up to Chiefs Bills where it's like, well, let's spend half the time talking about a couple defensive players that are missing. Believe it or not, the Chiefs are missing two starting defensive linemen. It hasn't been mentioned because it's football and you're supposed to be able to deal with it. But with Charles Amenahu out on the right defensive end spot and then also Derek Nottie, their nose tackle out, my fear, Greg, for this game would be Christian McCaffrey behind Trent Williams again and again and again. So, yes, he is, to me, the biggest concern. Yeah, he's he's a chief concern. When you look at what this offense is based upon, it's based upon establishing the run mm -hmm. and then getting the ball out of Brock Purdy's hands quickly. When you listen to why he struggled in early playoff games against the Green Bay Packers, he was pressing, he was a little nervous. Well, to eliminate those nerves or to lessen those nerves early in the game, you got to believe he's going to be a large part of what they do as far as getting the ball out of uh, Brock Purdy's hands, he and obviously the other cast mm -hmm. of guys. Absolutely. There's no doubt. I don't see 30 carries. I mean, they don't really do that. Yeah, that's but a lot. Yeah, he'll, but if he's running well, that'll open up other things. He obviously, has 30, the play. Niners will win. Well, <laughs> yeah, no, true. I mean, I, I see – if he's 20, low 20s, but then obviously they're getting the ball to him, you know, passing to him as well. But he need, he need they need him to have a huge game, no doubt. So, yeah, okay. he's a big concern. All right. Next up, and they've gotten better of late, but Kansas City did lead the league in drops this season. In fact, it was the worst rate in three years. Basically three years ago, that one there. <laughs> well, but, well yeah. out of the last three years, the Chiefs would still lead the league in drops. Uh -huh. so yeah. Apropos, mm -hmm. uh, our drops – a chief concern, especially if my guy Kadiris Tony gets some run. Uh, no, we fixed it. Mahomes is throwing undroppable balls. Undroppable. Undroppable. So oh, Tony. So how about this? He's targeted Kelsey these playoffs 27 times. Kelsey had three drops in the Miami yep. game, mm -hmm. and so 26 of the 27 times he's targeted Kelsey have been right on target. One overthrow in the end zone. The last two rounds. How has Mahomes done targeting his top two guys? Well, he's thrown them 30 balls. How many have they caught? Oh, wait, 28. Pretty good. So, if those are guys are going to get the vast majority of targets. And then, while you showed an MVS hi highlight that was from so long ago, it might as well have been in standard definition, just a couple of weeks ago, MVS had the catch of the postseason yep. to seal the Ravens game. So, no, that's old news. Okay. So, no, they're not a Yeah, I'm with concern. you on this. No. Really? It's not a, no, My it's God. not. When Sorry you, for you. You can go back sure to the hurt. Buffalo Bills game when MVS was in the slot and he had the inside fade and everybody was like, oh, my goodness, they, they're going to MVS. Well, yes. This is what Patrick Mahomes was trying to tell us all season long. I'm going to continue to go with, go to these guys, and they're going to come through. They have delivered in the postseason, so no, it is not a chief concern. It is absolutely a chief concern. That's right. When Giannis Antetokounmpo hit, what, 17 of 19 free throws in the NBA Finals game? Yeah. Were free throws no longer a concern of his? No, MBS drops balls. I mean, that's just through his career. Now, he still made some great plays, too, but he drops passes. McCall makes mistakes. Yeah, it's a concern. That is correct. Huh? I'm rooting Wilds for the Chiefs. is starting to come my I'm way. I'm rooting for the Chiefs, bit. but you're just spitting facts. The guys that you guys are worried about, they're not going to get targets, guys. They don't get. It's going to be. It's going to be Noah Gray, targets. Justin Watson, a couple MVS deep balls, and 25 targets to Kelsey Rice and Pacheco. I'm telling you right now. I know, but if I was the 49ers. What? You would bribe them to put Tony on the field? What are you going to do? I would, I would, I, if Kelsey's unguardable, Rice is not unguardable. No, Next up, not. San Francisco's potent weapons. K 
Kittle and Debo. Including the playoffs, these guys have very similar statistics. 100 targets even. Look at Brock Purdy. Wow. What a guy. Well, Just he, like he spreads the wealth. Yeah, it's like, you know, candy if you have a lot of kids. Like, everyone gets the same <laughs> amount. Switch up uh, more, more of a cheap concern. Mm -hmm. More. Kittle or Debo? Debo on plus more. Listen, I think they're going to have Sneed, Shadow Ayuk, and take him out of the game. George Kittle, for as great as he is, He's 40 yards per game in his postseason career. He has as many career playoff touchdowns as Travis Kelsey had two weeks ago against Buffalo. So it, it, Debo is, the, to me, the X factor of this game. He's almost too good of a player to call him the X factor. But, yes, I think Debo Debo's a legitimate concern because at, whenever he gets the ball in his hands, it feels like he's going to break the first tackle and then you got to mm -hmm. get him down the second one. So, for me, it's far and away Debo. Yeah, I'm with you again, Debo Samuel. And, and when you look at Christian McCaffrey, basically what you're doing is looking at Debo Samuel because they're interchangeable at times. And you right. talk about who's going to cover him, that would be Trent McDuffie. If he, because he primarily plays in the slot, but when you decide to move a guy like that and you have the capability to move him in the backfield, who's, who, what are you doing? Get Nick who's Bolton the, on him. You, you don't. You, it's a mismatch automatically. And again, you're gonna want to get the ball out of Brock Purdy's hands and allow these guys opportunities to make plays with the ball in their hands sooner rather than later. He's the chief concern. I think you guys are underestimating Kittle a little bit. Most of those playoff games, his quarterback's been Jimmy G, who, as good as he was, he wasn't Brock Purdy. Yeah, Bobby right. betrayed him, too. All right, just for the record, half of his playoff games have been with Brock Purdy. It's five. That's four, really. Well, I mean, okay. the, the one sure. he got hurt, yeah. Um, but Debo, I'm with you on Debo, because he, he can line up anywhere. They might hand the ball off to him, you know. So, And, of course, how dangerous he is after the catch. Debo. So but how Kittle, we underestimated Kittle. I, I just, think, no, I'm just, just saying, y'all, Nick wrote Kittle off like 40 yards. But you know, just what his career is. Career, I don't know yeah. what, I don't know. I as think Drew he's would dangerous. Say, I'm he's worried doing about other stuff. Isn't he doing other stuff on the field? He's not just Yeah, listen, nobody yards. opens up a four yard run like George Kittle. Give me a break. <laughs> Give me a break. It is it's a fact, John. Give me a break. I understand, John. He's a very good player and I like him. But this idea, this this idea that he had so much in the blocking game that there's a real argument about Kittle versus Kelsey is nonsense. He would have to be Trent Williams in the blocking game to make up the gap in the receiving game. <laughs> Give me a break. Our Vegas distractions, and I'd consider a fire alarm the most oh, team, a chief concern. These whiny babies. Oh. This, I was from the ESPN article. They said it went off at 6.03 a.m. Yeah. Christian McCaffrey says conspiracy was on purpose. Bosa immediately hit up the D-lineman group chat. Group chat. And they also, by the way, talked about how they remain unhappy about the field conditions, and now this has only compounded it. Then in the athletic story, we get this, Jim. I have to read it to you. Safety to Sean Gibson, who said he'd never seen so many sleepy faces in the morning as he did Thursday, <laughs> when as far as saying the disruption made practice later that day a little more difficult. Next, practice seemed a little harder. Our bodies were a little tired, but I think we'll get caught up on our sleep today. Wait till we hear the post-game quotes about we couldn't even listen to Kyle at the halftime locker room. Our crew was so damn loud. This whole thing's been ridiculous. These whiny, whiny babies. 6.03 a.m., be up. Super Bowl week. Well, get to work. Wilds gets up at 6 a.m. Yeah, to go to the just, No Excuses Power Plant and do push-ups. Know, but just for the record, Greg, they, they're not working nine to five jobs. They have to be at peak performance at the 6 The article so said Kittle's alarm was for 610. Oh, God, and this went off at 603, and we're like, oh my God. Greg, is this a Heavens thing? to Betsy. It's not a chief concern, but it is unsettling because it's something Thank you. You, like for this week. Being that it is Super Bowl week, being that you are going to be in a hotel, not your normal environment for the week, you try to keep things as consistent as possible. So anything that disrupts that, it matters. And although, as you point out, like all the, they're crying about it. If this were the Chiefs, you would be on the this other happened, side of it. No, this happened to the Chiefs in a playoff game before the Patriots eight years ago, and nobody remembers because who cares? This is it, I'm with Greg. It, Go ahead. It, it, it is it is a concern simply because it's something that's disrupting what normal looks like. If it were however, two in the morning. however, at the end of the day. These guys know they got to just go out there and play the game. Wow. So, and I, it's a chief concern, and I'm going to give you credit for this. I've learned the power of the bulletin board from you this year. 
And they got more than bulletin board perceived slights. Oh, interesting. All right. They are practicing on a field that's as soft as pillows. All right. They are. They did have this fire alarm go off and all that. They they've watched TV and seen everybody except Brew pick everybody. The I watched Niners are all the I, I don't Not know how because I saw I didn't see one pundit today pick the Niners except me. That's true. All right. They see that. They feel slighted. Bulletin board, you know it as well as anybody. It's a chief concern. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.